What's up everybody, this is Investing Sensei here to bring you another episode in the series of how many shares of a certain company do you need to uh, make $1,000 a month or also $100 a month and even $100 a week. Uh, so we're going to be calculating that in this episode. Uh, as well, we will look at uh, the dividend yield uh, to see when the best opportunity was or is uh, to invest in this company. But in this company's, uh, or I guess in this episode, we will be doing Intel. So uh, this this is the next one on the list so if there is one that you want me to do that you don't see on the list let me know in the comment section i'll be happy to add it uh, or as well if it's one that i've already covered in the past but the stock price has moved quite a bit let me know i'll be happy to do it uh, but uh, yeah we will be doing intel uh, also we are trying to head towards 8,000 subscribers so if you're new to the channel uh, consider subscribing with that bell notification as well uh, everybody if you guys wouldn't mind dropping a big thumbs up on the video to help out the channel but uh, let's go ahead and get started so i have uh seeking alpha pulled up you'll see the ticker symbols intc it's uh intel corporation it's currently trading about 35 dollars and 78 cents if we look at the uh, company profile we can read a little bit about the company in case anybody is not aware of what they do so we have intel corporation engages in the design manufacture and sale of computer products and technologies worldwide the company operates through the ccg dcg iotg mobile i ncg uh, pcg and all other segments it offers platform products such as a central processing unit and uh, chipsets and system on chip and multi-chip packages in non-platform or adjacent products including accelerators boards and systems connectivity products graphics and memory and storage products uh, so a lot of like chip company it's a chip company basically uh, but we got sector it's in the information technology uh, industries the semiconductors and uh, employees uh, right around 121,100 employees uh, it was founded in 1968 so quite a long time ago and then uh, if you do want to visit their websites just intel.com uh, but that is the company profile and uh, let me show you guys a little bit more about Intel so if we look here's the chart if we look at the year to date they are actually down 32.76% uh, if we look at the one year, they're actually down 32.09%. If we look at the five years, they're actually up 2.20%. Uh, 10 years, they are up 43.64%. And then the maximum year, they are up 1,773.30%. If we look at the 52-week range, uh, so uh, lowest they've gotten in the 52 weeks uh, has been a $34.41. So we're very close to that. The high 52-week range uh, is actually $56.28. So we're definitely closer to the lower end. Uh, if we look at the EPS, it's 2.29. PE 15.64, uh, dividend rate $1.46, uh, yield 4.03%, uh, market cap is $146.91 billion market cap for this company. Uh, so quite uh, pretty interesting here. If we look over here at the uh, dividend scorecard, uh, again, you guys see that this is in the information technologies. Uh, if we look at the dividend summary, you'll see that the, the dividend yield is at 4.08%. Quite a high dividend yield for a company like this. Uh, so we also have the annual payout is $1.46. Payout ratio is 35.98%. So closer in the lower end, quite a great opportunity to grow this in the long term. So uh, you'll see that the five-year Kager is 6.26% closer on the lower end so that means that they in the past five years they've grown their dividend by around an average of six percent uh, dividend growth is says it's seven years i'm not 100 percent sure on this one because seeking alpha has been known to uh, actually have this value incorrectly let me know in the comment section uh, what the real uh, dividend growth here it has been for intel if it's actually not seven years i'll be happy to read that but if we look uh, they do actually pay out quarterly uh, so they pay about 37 cents. Uh, 37 cents adds up to uh, an annual payout of $1.46 once you multiply it times four. But uh, yeah, that is Intel. 
let me go ahead and uh, pull up the calculator guys and we can start crunching some numbers so first one we're actually going to calculate is going to be one thousand dollars every single month that would be a pretty great goal to have but uh, for you to actually make one thousand dollars a month from this company you want to make one thousand dollars you want to actually there's 12 uh, months in a year so you're going to multiply the one thousand so roughly around we need to make about twelve thousand dollars in annual uh, dividend payout so in order to find the number of shares we need to own to uh, achieve this you need to look at the annual payout so a dollar forty six cents we're going to divide that uh, the twelve thousand and then uh, this will give us the total number of shares that we need to own to achieve that so we need to roughly own about eight thousand two hundred nineteen shares of uh, intel if we look uh, over here at the top if you want to find the total amount of money you need to invest currently you multiply the total number of shares times the current share price uh, so that would be thirty five dollars and seventy eight cents so you need to roughly have invested about two hundred ninety four thousand dollars so quite a bit of money uh, it's a lot less than a lot of other companies and that is because the dividend yield is closer to about four percent so uh, that's a pretty great starting yield for a company like this uh, but if you want to do this quick calculation to find this you could actually just do uh, twelve thousand which is what we want to make annually you divide that by the dividend yield uh, so that would be uh, 0 0.0408 and uh, that roughly gives you about two hundred ninety four thousand dollars quick way to calculate that um, the next one we want to see is how much would you need to own or of this company to actually make one hundred dollars a month i think this one's a little bit more achievable uh, and uh, you know we will see uh, so the, one of the things you want to do is you want to multiply uh, $100 which is what we want to make every single month uh, 12 months in a year so we need to roughly own about $1,200 and um, you want to see how many shares we need to own so you divide this by uh, what the $1.46 the other thing is that you could divide this by 10 and that should give you the answer from the previous one if you want to do this really quick uh, but if you actually multiply this times the share price $35.78 uh, you need to roughly have invested about $29,408 uh, in uh, Intel and you'd be roughly making about $100 every single week those $100 you could probably reinvest those even more and start accumulating even more shares much much faster you'd probably be actually being being able to buy about almost three shares every single um, quarter so that would be pretty cool there actually no you would be able to buy even more than three shares uh, you would be able to buy three shares almost every single month uh, but if you look a quick way to calculate this 1200 divided by the dividend yield uh, which is 0 0.0408 and gives you roughly around twenty nine thousand dollars so pretty cool there uh, let's do the last one which is actually how much uh, of this company do you need to have uh, to make one hundred dollars every week this would be pretty great especially if you're living off dividends making getting one hundred dollars in passive income that would be pretty sweet there but one hundred dollars uh, there's actually 52 weeks in a year so you'd multiply that times so we need to roughly own about five thousand or i guess we need to make about five thousand two hundred in the year so then you divide this by the annual payout so a dollar forty six and we need to roughly own about three thousand five hundred sixty one shares of intel and uh, then you multiply it times the share price so thirty five dollars and seventy eight cents and uh, you need to roughly uh, invest currently about hundred and twenty seven thousand dollars a quick way to calculate this again guys is the five thousand two hundred divided by the 0 0.0408 gives you roughly around 127,000 so yep that is uh, Intel let's go see and look at the actual dividend yield to see when the best opportunity was especially because uh, Intel right now is around 4% so that's a pretty great entry point for Intel so if we look over here this is the dividend yield guys and uh, you'll see that up here this is the dividend yield so currently about 4.08 percent this is the five years uh, so you'll see over time in 2018 uh, Intel's dividend yield was around two two percent 
almost 3%, actually not even 3%, that was right around 2% 2, 2 and 2.5%. And uh, you'll see that over time in 2021, it's actually been going up. And that is because the share price of Intel has actually been going down, especially because they've been having a lot of issues. I know that they've uh, reinvested into making more uh, companies, uh, I guess not companies, but more fa factories out in the world to uh, hopefully, uh, you know, compete with AMD because AMD is eating their lunch. So uh, Intel is a pretty decent company. I'm not invested in them, but uh, right now that dividend yield looks very, very great. Uh, almost 4% guys, uh, as you'll see in the past five years this is actually the best uh, time that you could have if you are a long-term believer in Intel uh, this is actually the best opportunity to start get a great starting dividend yield for Intel uh, but this is actually all I have for you guys and uh, this video let me know in the comment section if you are invested in Intel or if you're not and why you are or why you're not and uh, don't forget to subscribe with that notification and uh, drop a big thumbs up on the videos to help out the channel I will catch you guys in the next video take care stay safe out there bye guys Thank you